This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. How do you keep your crusty keyboards clean? Well, you can do it with Seal Shield coming right up here from CES 2014. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include dropcam.com and their newest cloud-based web cameras. Visit TPN.TV slash dropcam. Hi, Jamie Davis from Health Tech Weekly here, and we have got a great opportunity to see a waterproof, washable keyboard system, as well as a cover for your iPad that allow you to wipe off the germs on your devices. So if you're in home health care, if you just want to keep your devices clean around your house, or if you're working in the healthcare setting, you've got an opportunity to do that. I'm here with Brad Whitchurch from Seal Shield. You're the CEO of Seal Shield, so this is all your baby. That's right. Uh, thank you, Jamie. It's good to be here. So tell us a little bit about this uh, backlit keyboard. That's uh, the first one I wanted to show. Uh, that's, that's brand new, isn't it? Yes, it is. Um, uh, about seven years ago, Seal Shield invented the world's first dishwasher safe keyboard, primarily for healthcare, uh, so that keyboards can be disinfected in a hospital setting. Um, but today, what we have is really a breakthrough in that technology. Uh, it's the world's first backlit, we call IBM style or true type style keyboard. And you can see we've got one here submersed in the water. And uh, as I pull it out, you can see the water draining right through the keyboard. And uh, it is just a completely natural typewriter style keyboard, uh, not a rubber keyboard. So this is for a true typist. This is the ideal solution. And what makes this keyboard particularly innovative, in addition to the fact that you can wash it in a dishwasher, is that it actually has uh, waterproof LED backlighting. And I'm not sure you can see it in this light, but uh, there is a, a backlit between the keys and through the keys so that the letters and numbers actually glow and you can see that it is fully submersible and waterproof and dishwasher safe. And that's really the key because we just don't realize how many germs are on our devices. Even in a home where you maybe only have four or five users, they're still spreading every cold and every germ they bring home from school or work around the family. Well, that's right, Jamie. In fact, a University of Arizona study found that on average, a computer keyboard has 400 times more bacteria than a toilet seat. That's, that's a little frightening, actually. I need to go home and wash my keyboards again. Um, so we've got something else here. You've got a, actually a waterproof cover for your iPad. It's a sleeve system. Can you tell us a little bit about that? That's correct. This is the LifeProof Shield uh, for iPads and iPhones, and it's at, this is actually a combination product with two products in one. You see here the, the LifeProof Shield that's applied uh, to the iPad. It's a polyurethane skin. You can hardly tell it's on. And then it's waterproof with a waterproof tape, and there's a, a plastic uh, base that allows you to access the charging port so you can charge this without ever taking the, the uh, LifeProof Shield off. And then it works, you can use it this way, it's completely waterproof, and you'll see I can put it in the water here. Oops. There we go. So uh, you can see it's completely waterproof, no problem. And um, then it works in conjunction with this, this bumper case that allows you to uh, put this over the waterproof case, and now you've got a solution that's not only waterproof, but it's ruggedized. So you can drop this on the floor, uh, drop it on, on concrete, actually, uh, from up to 10 feet high. Wow. And uh, um, you can see here, I'll just drop it on the floor. And no problems with the, uh, with the iPad. It's completely fine. That's amazing. Well, we're going to be back here in a second, find out a little bit more about availability and some of the price points, as well as, as, well as where you can find it, coming right up. We'll get right back into that segment, but I do want to thank our sponsor real quick, DropCam at DropCam.com. Uh, you know, DropCam provides you a cloud-based, easy to set up, wireless system that lets you put a camera virtually anywhere and then monitor it from the web on your smart device, on your laptop. You can record in the cloud. It's just got all kinds of features. It's quick to set up, easy to use. Anyone can use it for security, as a nanny cam, as a way to just check in on your pets. Whatever the case may be, check it out and find out more information by heading over to tpn.tv slash dropcam. That's tpn.tv slash dropcam. 
We're back here at CES 2014 in the Seal Shield booth. And Brad, uh, tell us a little bit about where these products are available. Uh, are, they, are they out on the market now? Yes, Jamie. The products are widely distributed uh, through domestic distribution here in the U.S. And we have some international distributors as well. Uh, primarily where you would buy normal IT products. Uh, you can purchase the Seal Shield waterproof products, uh, including the keyboards, the waterproof TV remotes, mice, and the protection for iPads, iPhones, and Kindle devices. And what's the price point of this keyboard for the consumer? Our waterproof keyboards start at $35. The keyboard that we're featuring today, which is our backlit version, uh, uh, this is a new innovation that we announced here at CES. This has a $69 retail price point. Uh, and is available through distribution. Well, really comparable to what you'd pay for a normal keyboard. It is. And you're getting all that protection with it. That's correct. So where can they find more about SealShield? Well, you can visit us on the web at sealshield.com or from uh, quality retailers and resellers around the country. Great. Brad, thanks a lot. And we want to thank you for following all our coverage here at CES 2014. Remember to check out our additional live coverage available over at tpn.tv. I'm Jamie Davis, the pod medic from Health Tech Weekly. You can find all my shows over at htweekly.com. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network.